Knitting in the round using one long circular needle, aka magic loop. This is a circular needle. These are the tips of the needle. This is the cable. You need one that's at least 32 inches long for this to work. Um, I prefer 40 because it works for everything. You can have it even longer. All right, we're going to be practicing by casting on 20 stitches. So give yourself plenty of tail and make a slip knot. Make a twist in your yarn. Reach through your twist, pull up a loop, making a slip knot. Put your slip knot on one end of your circular needle. Tighten it up. I'm going to use the long tail cast on method. See if you guys can see that. There we go. I'm going to cast on 20 stitches. Clearly having a little performance anxiety here, but whatever. Okay, I have no, no idea how many that is, but we're going to say that's 20. Make sure that you have a 6 inch tail at least. Okay, step number one, move all your stitches onto the cable. There they are. Divide them in half. I'm going to pretend that I'm counting, but I'm not. But let's say that's half. Bend your needle. Don't kink it, but bend it. Scooch the stitches out of the way and pull this. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. I've got half the stitches on each needle. Next step, turn them around so the needle tips are facing to the right. Ignore that loop of cable. It will stop bugging you later. Push the stitches onto the needles, or push the needles into the stitches, however you prefer to think about it. That's certainly getting annoying, isn't it? Whatever. Okay. For you, in order to begin, you want this needle with the yarn on it in the back, far away from you. You can do it by just by turning these needles around. It's kind of like magic. So this is what it's going to look like to you like that. Yarn's in the back. Now in order to not make any twists, because we're going about to join this permanently in the round, I'm going to go up really close here, you can see all these knots are all facing each other. You can notice a twist because it's going to look something like this, where the knots, instead of facing each other, go around the needle once. So if that happens, make them all face each other. You're now in ready position. Yarn is on the back needle. Next step, Stabilize your stitches, pinch this back needle, pull the tip out, letting the stitches slide onto the cable, and I'm sort of flying it around like a spaceship until these two needle tips are ready to kiss. They can touch now. Take your yarn and put it behind this needle. Now this needle is by extension also this cable, which is why I need to put it behind. That can be confusing, but you'll get used to it. So I'm trying to put it all the way behind. The tail doesn't matter because I'm not going to knit with it, but when we knit, we always have the yarn behind the needle. Okay, so tension your yarn, scoot these stitches up. Your very first stitch will join these in the round. So knit that first stitch using the yarn coming from the back needle. Do not, do not pull this first stitch too tight, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So go ahead and knit all the stitches. You're basically doing one half of a round at a time. And we are going to practice by making a little tube. You can use a tube like this to check your gauge. I always recommend checking your gauge in the round if you're going to be working in the round. Make sure that you check your gauge in the round because a lot of people purl a lot more loosely than they knit. Um, no matter how good you are, this sometimes happens. So if you're not going to be purling, don't swatch by purling. Okay, I got to the end of that row. I knitted across right there. Next step, turn the needles around and pull pull the cable. Make sure that you pinch these stitches that you just did so they don't fly off. Pull the cable till the needle tip is back to the front and then use your fingers to push that on. You're now in ready position again. Oops, let's make sure that this yarn is in the back. There we go, it's coming off the back needle. Get that out of the way. So it's on the back needle. You've done half of your round. You know because the tail is over here. 
So that marks where you started. When ready position, we're just going to repeat from now until we're done with our tube. Pull the back needle out, make it so that it can kiss the front needle, ensuring that this yarn is behind this front needle, not in front, behind. We're going to go ahead and continue to knit. See how I have two little loops of cable on either side of my hands? They're at sort of, here's one, and here's one. That's good. You can rotate the needles a little bit if the cable is bugging you. Especially if you have a new needle, it will sometimes do that. But you will learn to keep it out of the way. Whatever. Drop that needle, turn everything around, pull this, let's see it's a little twisted, pull this cable, pinching your stitches, pull, so the needle is back here, push your needle in, your yarn, here it is, coming from the back needle, so continue, you can tell we've done one full round because here our tail is back at the front again, pull the back needle out, about halfway out, tension your yarn, making sure that your yarn is behind the needle that you're about to knit with, and begin again. There you go. I really want you to see what the front of that looks like. Okay. That's pretty much all you need to know. Drop that needle when it's empty. Pinch this so the stitches don't go anywhere. Flip everything around. Pull your cable. That one didn't get all the way off. There we go. Pull your cable. Pull, pull, pull. Stuff it in there. Make sure you're in ready position. There's ready position right there. There you go. You can see what it looks like. And there's my little rows of knit stitches. Oh, you can't really see them. Oh well. They're there. I promise. Pull that back needle out, go around. So you can use this whenever you need to make something round, whether it's the beginning of a hat, the top of a hat, sleeves, anything you want. Making sure that you're always in ready position, which means the yarn is coming from the back needle and your needle tips are pointed to the right. And now I'm going to make another video showing you how to check your gauge, so check that one too. Okay, let's finish this row. There, we've done two rows. We've knitted two rows in the round, and you can see you're starting to have a little tube. Look how cute that is. You've knitted a little tube and of course there's no ladders. Ladders is when there's gaps between your needles. Nope, that doesn't happen with Magic Loop because it's awesome. There, some, like a little sock or something. Isn't that adorable? Alright, good job. Now you try.